My gosh, we're just back with a little obedience, so. I, I want you to think of, you know, again, any exercise has various speeds. This is kind of just train your treat at slow speed. You know, but you, I think you always want to think of every exercise as having various speeds, you know, depending on, you know, maybe the size of your environment. You know, my job is to help him see it. Because if you said, how much correction has he had really for the trainer trip? Not very much, I mean, I'm not sure any. Because if we think of it as, I'm gonna get rid of these now, Kristen. She's like, what do you want me to do them? <laughs> She's got all of them but one. Ah! This dog has a very specific way of handing it to you. Oh my god, this plastic bag, man. I don't know how to pop right now. <laughs> and there's no refusal. I mean, that's what I want you to understand. If you're doing a train to retrieve and you're getting a refusal, you've installed that. Let me just put it this way. If you're doing a train retrieve and you get a refusal, backpedal real, real fast backpedal real, real fast and take about three steps backwards. All right, so look, so this dog also, oh, I need that leash though. Oh my God, oh my. Um, I do think everyone should get the car line. It's just, it's too convenient. No more bending to put the leash on. <laughs> but remember, this was the dog that I was working on. I did a little bit of it this morning. You know, but what, that's what I think, that's what I think people don't think of. Once you start making a dog stay and doing all these things, and if they make a little bit of a move, you correct it. You're now correcting micro movements. What was this strange noise? You heard that? I think it was one of those birds. All right, so look. So I'm going to bring in my socks to watch. I'm going to bring him around. Oh, they must have another question for me. Uh, I'm going to bring him around with just my page or watch. Heel. <laughs> yeah, I heard all the deal. Yeah. All right, but look, I want to get him going this way. So what I do. So I'm almost going sideways. You know, and if you said, well, how would you get it? So you were totally going sideways micro movements so okay so here's my line because he'll go this way sit he's about to get a nick sit he'll go this way And you guys do need to use lines. We do need to use lines. We should use lines in the parking lot and lines on the sidewalk to help be more concise. Because if you said, why should you use lines? To be more concise. Because if not, if you're just squiggling. Look, so. So. so I'm going sideways. I'm going a little bit forward, but. Huh. You know, but Cher, I know you're watching this. I, that's what I want you to think of. The dog is right here. I'm going to say, because I've already said with the pager, I want you to move. So there's my pager. So there's my movement. There's my pager. There's my movement. There's the absence of the pager. There's the pager. Absence. Pager. Absence. Pager. Absence. In that heel. In that context, in there, Yay. Um, you know, it's just a cue. When it stops, you stop. Or you can reverse it too. I know this is so hard. 
Right, look, I'm just going to move him with the pager. He doesn't think I'm going to attempt to move him with this leash heel. So I'm basically going to, all I'd have to do is make the little forward step. All I would eventually have to do is imply the forward step, and he would do it. All right, we're just going to do a little short. So that would be 